Okay, I don't think anybody understood what a hit Lower Olympus would be this year, but wow, it's taking not only the fandom world by storm, but the cosplay world as well. And I'm joined here by... Kia Sangria. Elliot. <laughs> uh, obviously dressed as Persephone and Hades. Now, what all went into making these costumes today a reality? So, um, this costume for sure definitely tested my patience. It's made out of satin and floral appliques, which are two things that I've really never worked with before. So, oh, and the fur coat as well. So, this whole costume was the first time for me. Um, definitely tested my patience. The dress itself is corseted, so I had to figure out how to work with corset bones, which is something that I usually don't do. Um, but it was a labor of love for Laura Olympus, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, mostly the wig, the makeup, new contacts, but my clothes you can definitely get in the best dress wear men's section. I had to get it form fitted. I had to get it just piece by piece just to be comfortable. <laughs> what has this uh, literary piece meant to you? So there's definitely a lot of similarities um, for us when it comes to a few of the characters in Lore Olympus. So uh, I would want to say like when we first met, it was very, very awkward. We both kind of came from some very strange places. The event that we met at, neither of us wanted to even be there that day. <laughs> so like that part as well in the comic like really spoke to us. But for me, it was the colors. Lore Olympus is so colorful and I don't think I've actually ever read a webtoon like it before, so I fell in love with the colors above all else. Yes, you could definitely tell it is a labor of love. It's so vibrant. Each character has its own unique personality, and they're so they're so boisterous, so fantastic to read through. Love it. All right, thank you so much for joining us, and we cannot wait to see what more costumes you make and what more storyline we get to read in this amazing webcomic.